I was almost gonna throw up at certain points in this movie, but in a good way. Bing bong. Okay, right off the bat, right off the bat. Smile 2 is absolutely terrifying. This is one of the scariest movies I have ever seen. I cannot remember a time that I saw a movie that was as terrifying as this one. A couple years ago, a small horror movie came out called Smile. I really, really enjoyed it. It was horrifying. It was absolute nightmare fuel, but it was also really well acted. It was an incredibly original premise, but I will say it didn't necessarily feel like when the movie was over that it either needed a sequel and it also didn't feel like there was really any sensible way for them to make a sequel. I take it all back. I am so glad Smile 2 exists. I'm so glad they found a way to make it make sense that there's going to be more of these movies. Smile 2 is easily one of the best horror movies of the year. It's probably going to end up on my list of one of my favorite movies of 2024. Oh my God. If you are somebody who is into horror movies, then there's a very good chance you saw the first Smile movie. However, if you didn't, I don't want you to think that you have to run back and go watch the original Smile. You don't. In fact, there's even a point in this movie where they are very well aware that because this movie got a way bigger marketing budget, it just had a lot more hype around it. There's a good chance that several of the people that go to see this movie never seen the original. And I'm here to tell you that if you've not seen the first Smile movie, do not worry. Not only do you not need to see it, but it doesn't really relate to the sequel at all. There's none of the same characters. It doesn't take place in the same city or anything like that. It follows a totally new plot and a totally new premise, but the scares, I mean, when it comes to sequels, especially horror movie sequels, ones that are coming from films that were small and maybe didn't get as much traction, even though the first Smile movie ended up becoming sort of a cult classic. But sometimes you worry because you know that while the budget is probably gonna get bigger, it's gonna get a lot more support from the studio. Sometimes that means that it just sort of goes off the rails. And personally, I think that Smile 2 is bigger, better, <laughs> more terrifying, more gory in all of the best possible ways. This feels like a sequel where they were able to do everything they wish they could have done in the first movie and truly bring us a brand new horror franchise that I hope is around for years to come. Now this movie focuses on a singer who's about to start her tour, but shortly after witnessing the death of a friend, suddenly starts to have doubts about what she's seeing around her, which if you've seen the first movie, you know damn well that if you see that person off themselves in front of you, Smile Monster's coming to get you. Now, this movie makes use of a lot of really interesting ideas when it comes to horror movies. I personally am a huge fan of when horror movies don't really use that much music. Also, when everybody's apartments are just always dark. Nobody apparently uses their lights. They don't turn on the lights in their living room or their kitchen or anything. Everybody's lights are off at all parts of the day that everybody lives alone for some reason. This movie does an incredible job of making you afraid of what you think is going to happen. And sometimes, in some movies, they let that be the scariest part. Like, they let you imagine whatever you could think of is scarier than what they're gonna show you. No, <laughs> no, not in the Smile franchise. This movie does everything correctly from its jump scares, which I know can be a little controversial. Some people think jump scares are cheap, which Sometimes I feel like jump scares are cheap. In the Smile movies, they are not cheap. You do not know when they're coming. And in fact, they do just enough typical jump scares, just enough jump scares where you're like, oh yeah, I know something about to jump on out and scare me. But then out of the blue, boom, just like there will just be a totally random jump scare. And I will say, if you've seen the first movie, I think that they tied in just enough uh, little Easter eggs and things that they did in the first movie that they brought back in this one, which, you know, again, is one of those things that could kind of go either way, but with Smile 2, they're bringing back all of the stuff that worked really well. Some of the smartest ideas that they utilize in the first movie, they do them again here. And look, I'll say, sure, maybe if we get seven or eight Smile movies deep, Maybe they can't do some of that same stuff again before it becomes like too cheesy or campy or, or whatever. Uh, but for only the second movie in what I hope is a very long running franchise, all of this stuff still works really well. All of the scares that worked in the first movie work in this movie and they are even 
more disturbing. If you are squeamish, if you are someone that cannot handle gore, I don't know how you're gonna handle this movie. I thought I had a pretty good stomach for some of this stuff, mostly just because over the years, while I didn't start out as much of a horror fan, I've definitely become more interested in just the practical effects aspect of horror movies. I am amazed at how they can make some of the most disgusting, <laughs> horrifying things look really, really realistic. I just think that behind the scenes stuff, as someone that's always been really interested in behind the scenes movie making and TV shows and whatnot, I think that stuff's really interesting. I was almost gonna throw up at certain points in this movie. There were some truly disgusting, kills, deaths that will just stick with you, things that are I'm just gonna be seared into my mind because they were so disturbing, <laughs> but in a good way. This movie really <laughs> tests you on both how much of this you can handle and also how well you're paying attention because this is the sort of movie that I think is so scary that it was almost a challenge for me to keep up with what was going on in the movie because I was so terrified of how terrified I was. I was so scared of where this was headed and it just put me in a state of mind where like, when the movie was over, I needed to take a deep breath. I felt my adrenaline pumping for this film. It was like end of your seat, nail biter, truly not knowing where it's going. And I say that in a sense of like, I think if you've seen the first one, you know where it's headed in a sense. But what makes these smile movies great, similar to the Scream franchise, is like, even if you know where it's headed, you're so interested in how they're going to get there that that's what keeps you fascinated in the story throughout. Aside from all of the scares, it's just a really compelling story. And I think that's another thing that horror movies sometimes struggle with. Like, do you balance, we just make it super scary, but then people don't really remember what the movie was about, or do we make it just scary enough where you can still follow a captivating plot? And I think if you take all the horror elements out of it, this is a really interesting film about a pop music superstar who deals with a horrible accident when she is younger, resulting in the loss of her partner, and how she deals with processing the grief of how much at fault she was for what happened. That on its own is really interesting. If you take that story and put it into a horror movie genre, it has the potential to be absolutely horrifying, which is exactly what happens with Smile 2. Guys, I cannot recommend this movie enough. I love this series. I hope we get so, so many more Smile movies. They are so good. From the cinematography to the acting to the writing, I think that this franchise is showing that it is able to balance all of these things so well in an incredibly compelling way, but in a way that pays homage to other horror movies and also puts itself on its own path, carving itself out a section of the horror genre that's going to continue to build hype. I think Smile 3 is going to be even bigger. I know this movie is going to do incredibly well, and I am super excited to see where the Smile franchise goes from here.